In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to share some tips when you're trying to fit music to photos in creating a slideshow in PowerDirector. There's some things to look out for and some very great advantages as well. What I have on the timeline is I have a subset of a group of photos about a mission trip. I've taken 14 of them and placed them on track number one. So we'll use these in this part of the tutorial. I'm going to highlight all of the photos and then click on the slideshow button above the timeline. Let's pick a style. I'm going to pick the collage right now and then let's add some music. So I click on the plus and the music symbol button in the lower right corner. It takes me to my file system. I can go anywhere I want to navigate and when I find the music file click on the open button in the lower right corner and now I have my music. There are a couple of things to pay attention to now. First of all I'd like to know how long the music is. To find out simply click on the music preferences button in the lower right corner and I'm only interested right now in this duration. It says it is 17 seconds and 16 frames long. I want to remember that so we'll just click on OK. And now when I click on the other button to the left of that slideshow preferences this will give me my fit music to photos. That's the focus of this lesson. So what this means is it doesn't matter how long or short the music is. The length of the slideshow will be dictated by how long it takes to process the photos. We'll give, tell you more about that in a moment. So I'm going to click on OK. Now once I have the music selected and I've got my style selected, all I need to do is click on the Next button at the bottom. It will go ahead and process. Now you may recall the music was 17 seconds and 16 frames. This is the preview screen of the entire finished project and if I drag my cursor to the end I find it's 50 seconds and 15 frames. So what happens when I get about to the place where I run out of music? We'll go ahead and click the play button about at 14 seconds and you'll find out. It automatically fades in and fades out. I will do it again around 33 seconds and you'll see it do it again. It's workable. If you want to do something quick, it's nice. It's not quite perfect. Let's see what it does when we get to the end of the presentation. Again, it just starts the fade at an automatic time and then fades out. Yeah, it's not ideal again, but it does work. But let me show you something else. We're going to go to the previous screen. That one was about 50 seconds long. Let's take another different style and we're using the same preferences. We're going to fit the music to the photos and we'll click the next button. Now it will generate a slideshow running with this this second kind of dial and watch if I click here the entire project is only 15 seconds long and so now I actually have more music than I have slides because it processes the slides much faster with this style. Okay, now what happens when you have more music than you have pictures? The pictures dictate the length and the music fades out. Let me give you a more dramatic example of that. Let's take half of these out and now we'll just process these photos here. We'll use the same style. We'll use the same music. And we'll make sure we're set to the default as fit the music to the photos. And now we'll generate uh, a third example here. 
Let's see what this does with only a handful of photos and my 17 seconds worth of music. Okay, again, now the project is 11 seconds long, so it just fades out. If you want more polish on it than the automated methods give you, there are steps you can take to match the music and the slides a little more tightly. It's going to take a bit more time, but we'll show you how to do that in a subsequent tutorial. Mm -hmm.